If there's one out of my 127 videos or however many are public on my YouTube channel right now, if there was one that was ever gonna get me banned, deleted, shadow banned, blocked, possibly arrested, who knows? It's this one because of what I'm about to say. There is a reason for everything that I do, everything. I don't do anything without thinking about it first, ever. That is probably the one consistent thing about me is that I don't not think about things. I always think. If there's one thing I do more than anything else, it's think. The thought process behind any of these, like you can get fit and smoke weed reels or shorts is that it's true for one thing. And two, here's my story as far as fitness, weight loss, and where cannabis comes into play with it at all. It's my true story and it is what it is. To give you the backstory, and yes, I did put sunscreen on because that's important for this. In 2020, I went through this bout of severe anxiety and depression, or that's what I thought it was. It was, that's what it felt like, was just this overwhelm, this like the world was ending around me. Like I just felt it was the pandemic and I was also exposing myself to a lot of internet content that I now realize was very, very toxic for me to be consuming all day, every day. I was also spending the great majority of my time indoors and not doing much physically, like just kind of sitting a lot. And all my videos were me sitting on a couch and talking and that was it. And um, there was a reason for why I was inside for all those videos and on the couch and not doing stuff like this, not going out and you know, smoking or like whatever out in public, it's because in Florida, that's illegal. Like we're not supposed to be, we're not supposed to be out smoking in public or using any cannabis in public, period. Um, there's a video on my page from a month ago or so where I was walking around hitting a vape and um, like in the neighborhood I was in and I took that video down for a bit, put it back up. I go back and forth about what I want out there and not, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's always been one of my things to not break the law in a video and post it <laughs> publicly. <laughs> so that I kind of broke my own rule with that one. I definitely broke my own rule. In 2020, when I was having that anxiety, depression, exposing myself to a ton of toxic internet content and sitting inside all day. <laughs> wow, how could, how could you get depression and anxiety from that? That would make no sense. No, that makes, that's how you get it. <laughs> that's exactly how you make your own mental health worse. I found out. And this is not just experience. There's also some fact and scientific stuff here too that I'm about to share. As far as the going outside thing, first of all, put smoking aside for a second, put weed all aside. We're just gonna talk about being outside versus inside. There's a little crab over there, oh my God. When I was in school for interior design, because I do have two degrees, one is an interior design degree. One of the things we learned was the human element of being in built environments. We spend, I think it's like 90% of our lives indoors as humans. That's kind of just the way it is. And that is bad for us, I found out. Like, there is actual scientific proof, um, psychological studies about how being inside can be very, very bad for us. And I mean, if, if, we're, in the bad, if we're in a bad, like a badly designed interior environment, that's even worse. So going outside is actually really beneficial for mental health. And that's what I learned. That's one thing that I learned. It's beneficial in a lot of ways. So that's one thing. Um, going outside is great being active is great for mental health too that's the other thing like if you're worried about your mental health so you go to a doctor this is what I did in 2020 I went to a doctor they sent me to a psychiatrist they the psychiatrist said you're gonna go on pills because you have all these different diagnoses and um, you know you're depressed you're anxious you're bipolar you have all these things so we're gonna put you on three different meds and this will fix you because you're dangerous without these she literally said that to me I was like that's interesting because I've never been dangerous before today <laughs> never been to jail never injured anyone like okay very interesting that you would say that to me but okay anyway so i start taking the pills and i actually gained more weight from those pills than i've ever gained from smoking cannabis and i don't think i, I mean i don't think i've ever actually gained weight in the long term from smoking cannabis so that is one thing and nothing is black and white this is just my personal experience the message there's it's hard for me to really narrow down and boil down the message to one little phrase here it's really just a series of experiences backed by my own personal experience and science um it's just i would say you're more likely to get out of shape and gain 35 pounds in a month like i did on those pills <laughs> Bruce, look. those pills made me gain 35 pounds basically overnight and i went from like my normal size to the size that I became and um, 
it was less about like oh i'm so fat like i hate being this size and like it wasn't really that it was just feeling like i wasn't even in my own body like i like that did not feel like my body because it was so different from anything i was used to prior to that so that was really the big mental shift there and so what that i mean there's a couple things i can say about that my mental health got worse from the pills because of that weight gain that doctor did not tell me that i would be susceptible to gaining that much weight from taking a mental health medication it also wasn't the only physical side effect i had there were other things happening that were very uncomfy and um that went on for the three years that i was on those meds from 2020 to march of 2023 so about a year ago a little over a year ago now that i went off of them and returned to just using cannabis as a mental health medication i guess you could call it but I mean, can, this is the thing is cannabis is a very minor part of how I fixed or adjusted my mental state and got better. I would say I, would say I got better between March of last year and now. Um, it was a process, but it takes for me, it, like at least the way I say it now is like it takes changing your habits. It takes changing your lifestyle. It does not take adding pills. Like If you only add pills, I would say don't expect anything to change because there were a lot of factors in my life that I realized later on were really contributing to that mental health disarray. Like you're, you're inside all day, you're consuming Reddit pages about how everyone hates influencers, you're consuming all this, um, just all this crazy, toxic, extreme social media content. And you know, and you're just like thinking about it all day. You have no friends, you're not talking to anyone. You're just like talking to your phone or your camera and um, just sitting inside avoiding reality. So, I would say if you're stressed, try doing yoga. See if you still feel stressed. I have a hard time ever feeling stressed when I'm doing yoga. Try getting up before the sun and seeing the sunrise by the water, listening to the birds. I mean, yes, of course, mental health is like treatable and it's something that sometimes pills can help. Um, therapy helps a lot if you have the right therapist. It's more about reframing your mental state, I think, and changing your habits. It's not about just adding something. There's no one thing that's gonna fix you, and cannabis is included in that. If you if you just add weed to your life and you just add smoking weed or even eating edibles or something, that's not gonna fix you. If if you have big problems where you feel like something you need something to fix you, that's not gonna be it. I'll tell you right now. There is no one thing that can fix all your problems. There is no one person who can be your whole world. And that's how it is. Like life is meant to have variety it's meant to have different experiences there's a lot in this world and you can't just i mean you can you can do whatever you want i'm not going to tell you what you can and can't do i'm just a random on the internet of course but if you want to see results i would say from my 30 years on this earth i have learned that adding one thing to your life adding something adding a substance to your life is probably not going to fix the bigger issue at hand. <laughs> I would take a step back and say, what am I doing with my day? Like, what am I doing with my time? Is this meaningful? Is this beneficial? Is this something I can feel good about? If it's not, that might be your problem right there. Then you're not doing the things that you know you should be doing or you feel like you should be doing. If you're just avoiding it, stop avoiding it. You only get one life. Make it count.